Living things too small to see, like bacteria, fungus and viruses, also called germs, are found all around. They can be found on our skin, in the soil and on surfaces around our home. Some of these germs can make you sick, but most of them are harmless and even beneficial. We have germs in our gut or stomach, which help us to digest food. Individually, these germs are too small to see, but we can grow them in colonies or in large groups, so we can see them with the naked eye. So let's see what living things we have in our yard. First, what we need to do is we need to make a surface and a food source for the bacteria. So scientists used agar plates. Agar is a firm substance at room temperature, which is not broken down by bacteria. Therefore, it is an ideal substrate to use when growing organisms. If agar is not available, other ingredients such as gelatin can be used. We're going to make our own gelatin plates. Before you start, you must make sure that all your surfaces are clean to avoid contamination from other bacteria. So wash your kitchen counter, your dishes, and make sure to wash your hands. Things you will need is soap, water, measuring cups, measuring spoons, a saucepan and a stirring spoon, sugar, gelatine, beef stock, plastic food storage bags and plastic wrap, and sterile plastic or glass petri dishes. First, we're going to add four cups of water into our saucepan. Next, we add four packets of gelatine into our water and stir. Next, we're going to add in eight teaspoons of sugar, stir and add four cubes of yeast stock. Add in four beef stock cubes. Heat the saucepan on medium to low heat while continuously stirring. Heat until boils and then let cool for three to five minutes. Heat the mixture until boiling. Pour the mixture into a petri dish, filling it up one third. Cover your petri dish with plastic wrap and place in the fridge for two to three hours. Now that our gelatin has set, we can start to grow bacteria. What you'll need is your agar plates, labels for the different surfaces you're going to use to test for bacteria. You can use a plant, keyboard, kitchen counter, your skin, cell phone, and use some cotton buds to collect the bacteria. Take the cotton bud or a bit of paper towel and wipe across the surface that you're testing. Immediately transfer this to your gelatin. Notice how I keep it sterile by keeping it covered. This is to avoid any other unwanted bacteria for, con for contaminating your sample. Now use a separate cotton bud for each lo location. The next I'm going to be testing is the keyboard. Lastly, I'm going to check my kitchen counter to see what bacteria is growing. In science, we use controls to make sure experiments are working. If your control plate has nothing growing on it, then your experiment has worked. If not, you'll have to improve your sterile technique. Make sure to cover your plates after you've completed transferring your bacteria and keep them in a warm area approximately 35 to 37 degrees. So in the oven or a warm spot behind the fridge, leave them overnight or for two days and check to see what grows. 